it is highly likely that you are not even aware of this really, really important downswing move that can help you absolutely flush those iron shots. We're gonna talk about it today and show you exactly how to add it into your game. So back in this uh, getting ever more familiar setting, I'm at home, uh, got my net up, just hitting a few golf balls, trying to produce some content which can help you play some better golf. And today we're talking about a downswing move, something which many golfers aren't aware of, uh, but it can really influence many things down and impact and help you play some better golf. Just before we get started, if you've just stumbled across my videos, I'd love you to be a subscriber. Not all these videos are done from my back garden. Normally they're out on the golf course with a much, much better looking setting, but uh, obviously, COVID-19 pandemic at the moment, we are in lockdown. So the video or the lesson plan I should say today really is just to talk about the relationship between your lead arm and your shoulders and how that changes through the goal sink. Um, and then we are obviously gonna give you a little drill and exercise that you can do at home to really help you work on this. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're just gonna sort of reference the, the angle that we're talking about and, and sort of discuss how it changes in the backswing. So we're looking at the angle between my lead arm and my shoulders. Now, we'll, for the purpose of this video, Will will say that when I do this with my lead arm, that increases the angle. And when I move my lead arm more across my chest, as you can see, that decreases the angle. So what happens in the, in the backswing? Well, in the backswing, that angle will start to decrease as my lead arm starts to move across my chest. This is absolutely fine, this should happen, and in most goal swing, it does happen. Now, what happens at the top of the goal swing is we generally would like to start the downswing from the ground up, the hip start and the torso follows. And what that means is there's a little bit of lag between the torso starting and the arm starting. So that angle which narrowed in the backswing, in the downswing, as we start, would actually narrow more. The lead arm effectively gets kind of pulled into the chest. And that's really because of that sequencing that we, we talk about so much in these videos. So as we transition, the lead arm gets pinned to the chest. Up until this point, most of you are probably okay. You probably do these different moves. This is where it starts to get a little bit different. If you're a golfer who struggles with strike, if you struggle with distance, if you fade the ball, you cut the ball, slice the ball, um, weak strikes, don't strike the ball as well as you'd like, there's a very good chance that when you make that transitional move and your lead arm gets pinned onto your chest, it stays pinned for far too long. So you'll notice that I'm starting to rotate my body. You're starting to see the pressure shift onto my lead side, but my lead arm is still pinned to my chest. What that does is it means that my trail arm stays very bent. It means that at this point, the grip of the golf club is too high from the ground. And effectively, the hands and the club and the arms are too far out in front of me. So what happens from here is that we end up having a, a delivery where the golfer starts to push the handle down the golf club starts to move more across the golf ball and we get the arms making these kind of strange moves through the ball, this buckling of the lead arm, the chicken wing, that cramped sort of feeling that many of you will experience. So before we go through the drill, what actually should happen? Well, yes, we make that transitional move where the lead arm gets pulled into the chest, but when we approach about, and it's roughly about lead arm horizontal to the ground, those arms, or that lead arm in this particular video, will start being pushed off the chest. So I'm starting to move my lead arm now off my kind of logo on my top, if you like. Now, if I demonstrate that movement, so up to the top, we transition, and then I start to move my arms off my chest, we see a very, very different delivery position. We see the same checkpoints in the body, but notice how my trail arm is much straighter. Still not straight, but straighter. My hands are much lower to the ground, and the hands tend to be less out in front of me. Now from here, as you can probably see from that down the line, it looks as if I'm more likely to deliver the club with those things that I want, the fairly neutral path, which is really gonna help us. What it also means is that as my hands get a little lower, it means that I can start to use my rotation, which is meaning that my lead shoulder is gonna rise. I can start to work the handle of the golf club more up and in. And again, this is what we tend to see the best players doing. They are getting the handle, the butt end of the club at its lowest point, here in the downswing, which means that as they rotate, we see them all kind of posting up on this left side. They get this really nice extended look. Now, if your handle stays too high, 
When you hit the golf ball, you're going to be stalling your body and trying to push the handle down to reach that golf ball. And this is where we start to see shots which look a little bit like this and very, very cramped. So the message here is that what your lead arm should be doing is it should be working across your chest in the back swing. It should be getting pulled more into your chest as you transition. And then after that, it should start to very quickly accelerate off the chest, which is going to help you strike the ball well, get a neutral path, use the body better, control the face, control the loft, all of those things which ultimately just help you play some better golf. So let's just hit one and then we'll go through exactly how you're going to use that information into a drill. So here's what I'd like you to do. You're going to effectively visualize a line that goes from the top of the grip horizontally out to the right of you. Now, depending on the club that you're using, it's going to be about mid-thigh. And what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to make a back swing. And then I want you to feel like you initiate your downswing with your lower body. So we start to shift pressure. We start to rotate and open our body. And as you're doing that, I want you to try and get the grip of the club lower than that line. Now, very, very easy to see that if I keep that lead arm pinned to the chest, it's almost impossible for me to do that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get to the top. I'm going to start my downswing. But I'm going to start to visualize the butt of the club getting lower than that line at this point here. Now we start to see some images which look a little bit more like the one that we wanted a moment ago versus the one where the arms are too high, right arm is, is too bent. Once I've done a couple of those little rehearsals, then absolutely stop here and then just go ahead and just clip the ball off the tee. If the net wasn't there, that ball's going 50 yards. It's not a full swing. I'm just trying to get the sensation of the arms working off the chest. Now, just before we conclude this video, what we are not saying here is we're not saying that when you get to the top of the swing, the first thing to start is your arms. That's not what we're saying. The transition should be lower body, arms get squeezed in, but you have to accelerate those arms very quickly off the chest in order to get the most amount of speed and impact and to achieve all those things that we've spoken about. So, lead arm, really important that we get that moving correctly. If you do, we should start to see some better strikes, better ball flights, and when the course is open, some lower scores as well. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below, comments box, like button, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and also the subscription link is down there. Give it a click, as well as the bell notification. would love you to be part of my community. really believe these videos can help you play some better golf. Thanks for watching.